Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a few uh, hauls. I have my last Tuesday morning haul. Um, they are going to be closing on May 26th, which I believe is Friday. Um, she wasn't positive, but she said on that day, the 26th, that everything in the store will go 40% most likely. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll go back. We will have to see what the day, you know, it, we'll just have to see if it, if I can get back there or not. Um, if not, this is my last Tuesday morning haul. And then I also got a few other things. And then I have some exciting news about a haul that I did over the weekend, um, in our area in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, there is a house called the cozy crop house and they do classes and stuff like that there but once a year they have an annual um well you know what i'll tell you i'll tell you that that in the next video when i get ready to show that stuff let's just see what i got in this this haul okay so i got a thank you card from one of my sweet followers her name is barbara and uh she had bought a d-stash from me Hi, Barbara, if you're watching. And she made this card as a thank you. And it is so pretty, you guys. Look at how pretty this is. The back green piece is embossed with a really nice uh, embossing folder that has like foliage and some, um, oh gosh, like the grid lines. It's so pretty. And then she used this gorgeous, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this might be a Gina Marie. Um, it's a scalloped with hearts and then there's a stitching on the inside many thanks and then she put together this cute little flower bundle I love the color I love the really the, you know the sweet green color it's really pretty and then it looks like she did some either glue dots or this is um, a clear enamel dots on there you see them in the corner and there's a couple up here there's one over here I love the bow very very nice thank you so much barbara and um so she was basically inside just telling me um that she received her d stash thank you very much i appreciate the extras because i put extras in her box and it says the extra clear stamps that you may included in the box this is my seventh d stash second this is my second d stash from you and each was above my expectations i will be on the lookout for more thanks barb isn't that really nice i mean so thoughtful to send me a card and thank me for the d stash and it makes me so happy that she was um really satisfied because with my d stash is you guys i like to have the people that are purchasing happy with what they bought okay um i'm just like that you know and then i do send happy mail um sometimes too so anyway this is the beautiful card that barb sent thank you barb and okay so this was a greeting farm pre-order and i think it was last month i got an email and it said um pre-order for greeting farm so i ordered it and it just came in uh i think it came in thursday um so i'll just show you I'll flip it over. I'll just show you that I really like this one. It, it's really nice. Sorry if there's a glare. Um, there's like a little nurse. This one has a cowboy hat on. This one is holding an apple. So it could be like for fall. She's got sunglasses, star sunglasses. So you could do this one up for um, 4th of July or Memorial Day. This one has a winter hat on. This one here has just a really cool looking cap with a coffee in her hand. Love that one. This is a little fairy. Um, this one has flowers in her hair. And then this one over here is a princess. Now with these pre-orders, what I think happens is this one's called um, Anya Reboot. Okay, so what I think happens is they come out with these. And these are all uh, previous um greeting farms releases that that you know you buy one stamp but these are the previous uh they do a pre-order on them and usually they are um like a remix they're kind of like th that they came out before so i'm happy to have them 
and I'm so thrilled that it didn't take that long. Oh God, excuse me. Um, it didn't take that long uh, to come. So happy, happy, happy with the greeting farm. Okay, now this is the Tuesday morning haul. And like I said, it may be my last one. Um, I'm going to save my receipt and put on there last Tuesday morning haul <laughs> on the receipt. So I want to start with this basket. I saw another, um, uh, another crafter here on YouTube get one of these baskets as a memento. They had, and I asked my uh, lady in my store, and I said, do you have any Tuesday morning, um, property of Tuesday morning baskets? She says, yes, there's a few left there up front. So this was the last one like this, but they had like a real big round one and a, a rectangle one but that was very, very deep. But these come with the um, the little thing here, um, in here. And this says, um, property of Tuesday morning, not for sale. Okay. So this was a basket that I grabbed just to have that uh, memento, you know, my memories of Tuesday morning. I'm so, so sad, you guys, that they're actually really doing it. They're closing. Now, I know a lot of stores were closed already last uh, about two months ago. They've been closing them here and there. And I was lucky to get a store, too, that were close to me that were still open. Um, oh, my God. I cannot stop yawning every time I get in a video. I don't know what the problem is. Um, Okay. So, I'm glad that... um. I had a few extra month months left, and um, but now they are closing both stores near me as well. So this basket is never ever ever gonna leave my side. It is definitely gonna be a um, you know memory thing for Tuesday morning, and I absolutely love it. And sh these baskets were twenty dollars. So, I mean, it does have a little bit of fraying and stuff like that, but I don't care because this is what they used in the store to display stuff. And I love that it has that little plaque on it. So I did get that basket over the weekend and that was like I said, $20. And then I picked up, um, there wasn't, they had all those dyes and stuff, but they're still expensive, only 10% off. So I was like, eh. 10% off is not really that great. Okay. This is Echo Park. And this is Dive Into Summer. It's called. They were $2.99. Oh, uh, $3.29. And of course, the 10% off. So, I just. I don't have a whole lot of ephemera. And I thought with my 3D projects, I'd like to have um, ephemera. Or if you're making like a, a Happy Meal or something. Or book an al mini album you can stick this kind of stuff in there so i got two of those because they were uh for summer um i picked up one of these i think if i'm not mistaken i think i have one already of this or for some reason it really does look familiar but this is cartabella and the collection is flora again 329 and then you have your little frames and stuff with that one i only got one um this one is Cartabella, frames and tags, $3.29, and this is called Summer Market, okay? And that's what's in that one. Got one of those, and then I got one of these. I think I had one of these before, but I'm not sure. This is Simple Stories um, Hearth and Home Pieces, and I, use, I think I was using this in the fall. But seeing that they're going to be closed and you probably won't be able to find it again because I'm sure it's retired, um, I grabbed one of those. So those that, that was the ephemera. And then I grabbed two of these. And this is the chipboard frames for that same collection, um, Summer. Um, dive into Summer, I think it is, right? What is this called? Um, you know, actually, it just... This might be different. It just says summer. It doesn't have the dive into summer. Um, but I just like them. I, I like the chipboard pieces in this one. There's watermelons on here and the flowers, of course. Um, it's a, it's summertime, the little frame piece here. So I can use these on my cards or I could use them on my 3D projects. 
Um, I'm really starting to enjoy the um, little note cards that I made the other day and shared with you guys. I'm going to be making some more of those. So that. And then lastly, I picked this up. And this is a Crafters Essential. This is a pre Precision Press. Now, I had the, um, the, what is it called? Stamparatus from Stampin' Up. And I wasn't using it because I was using my Misty. So I sold it. But now you can't get it. Unless you can find it on eBay. And I'm sure you're going to pay a lot because, um, because it's retired. And, uh, so I decided Tuesday morning had this, and this is similar to the Stamparatus. It has, um, two different doors or two different, like, frames pieces here that you can pull off. So the Stamparatus had, uh, the one closure and then the other closure. Um, but this has the same thing. You get the two magnets up here and you're going to be able to do your layering stamping. Okay, but this one is a We Are Memory Keepers. And this was on clearance for $14 from $17.99. And they say it's compared to $39.99 um, originally. So Tuesday morning price was $17.99. Then they marked it to $14 as a um, clearance. And then I got 10% off of $14. So I don't think that's bad at all. And this time I won't be uh, de -stashing especially because Tuesday morning is going out and I don't know if this is retired from We Are Memory Keepers. Usually when Tuesday morning buys um, buyouts or closeouts, they're usually uh, retired products from the companies that they buy them from. So um, this, like I said, it, it might not have as much room as the Stamparatus, but it does basically your same thing. You have your um, two different layers that you can layer and push down to do your layering. Like if you're two-step stamping, and like I said, it did come with the magnets. So I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. And like I said, discount on top of already clearance stuff. So that was it. So that's my Tuesday morning in my online greeting farm. And I am going to um, finish this video up. And I'm going to come back with um, an exciting video. Well, it's exciting for me. Hopefully it's exciting for you guys to watch it. Um, but I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye.